Hey everyone, this is Elad from Astrolabe Diagnostics and today I'd like to discuss the Average Overlap Frequency Quality Control Metric. The Average Overlap Frequency, or AOF, is an efficient metric to quantitatively evaluate the standing quality in flow and mass cytometry data. In other words, we would like to know whether a given antibody stained well and whether the instrument has read that signal. And um, the method was published in uh, Cytometry A a few a couple of years ago. Uh, full disclosure, I'm the first author. This is joint work with Professor Adib Rahman during my time in Mount Sinai. And the idea behind the YOF is relatively straightforward. Um, we assume that the marker is bimodally distributed and we want to see what is the overlap between the two modalities. So um, in other words, looking at I'm going to zoom in for a minute here. Looking at these blue positive and red negative um, modalities, we want to quantify the shaded area that overlaps between the two of them. The greater the shader area, the higher the AOF. So an AOF of zero, um, as in these examples, show a perfect separation between the positive and the negative peak. While as the AOF becomes higher, it shows that there might be a problem and the two peaks, the two modalities might overlap. And this paper used the AOF in a variety of contexts. Uh, for example, we used it to assess the uh, degradation of signal in a variety of uh, storage conditions and um, over time and over different uh, fixation treatments. And uh, we show that, for example, if you store your samples in water, then they're probably not gonna they're not gonna deal with it very well. And finally, uh, we also show the application of the AOF for a large data set. So in this example, we had an 800 uh, samples from um, um, patients, and um, these were whole blood samples. And there was a concern that some of these might be better than the others. So uh, we applied the AOF to all of them, and uh, we used a transformation that converted the AOF from a marker by marker um, metric into an overall quality metric. And we show that there's about 10 or 20 uh, samples that have uh, quality issues. And if we focus on them, we see that they indeed miss, uh, for example, C19 and a few other markers. And finally, the AOF is available as part of the Astrolabe uh, cytometry platform. So um, if you analyze your data using Astrolabe, you can go to the cell substitute the quality control tab and to the AOF tab. And that will provide you with a heat map that shows you the standing quality across all of the markers in your experiment. Now, really important to point out, uh, the metric was designed for markers with bimodal distributions. So for example, it is not appropriate for cytokines, for um, uh, PD-1, for other markers that are long tail. It should really be used only for those markers that are used for bimodal distributions, often in uniphenotyping markers. And just by using this heat map, we can quickly scroll down and see that uh, one of the samples has an issue with uh, CD20. So if we mouse over it, we see that CD20 has a pretty high AOF. And um, if we go to Astrolabe's immunophenotyping navigator and enter that sample, we can um, can look at CD19 versus CD20 and then scroll down and see that there isn't much of a correlation between them. If we look at the B cells, uh, their CD20 distribution is pretty spread out. Just to compare and contrast, here is a, another sample. And once again, I'm going to look at CD19 and CD20 and scroll down and see a very high uh, correlation between them if we look just at the B cells we can see that there's beautiful staining in both of them. So the AOF is a pretty helpful metric for identifying these kinds of issues. You cannot uh, do this manually for a large experiment. Even if you have 20, 30 samples, it's gonna be difficult to assess uh, staining quality across all the samples, across all the markers. So I encourage you to uh, look into the manuscript. The method itself is available as an open source function in R uh, in the site utils package and of course you're welcome to use the Astrolabe platform to identify it. Please reach out, I'm Elad at astrolabediagnostics.com if you have any questions and of course please subscribe to us in YouTube and in LinkedIn.
to get more of these videos about how to analyze your flow and demand side data.